we are a scratch looking for an itch. Potential customers in your target market who are familiar with your business but have still not bought from you are generally rejecting your solution for one of four reasons. Number one, risk. Target customers do not buy if they perceive a risk of failure or have a fear that your solution will not work for them. If they doubt that your product or service will work as effectively or efficiently as the product they are currently buying or that something could go wrong, they will not make the switch. Number two, friction. Sometimes potential customers do not buy because the brain damage associated with switching is too great. They look at all the friction costs that would be incurred and resources consumed in the setup, retraining, installation, adoption, deinstallation, breaking old habits, and implementation of the new procedures and processes, and realize the pain of the change is not worth the gain. Minimizing friction cost is a critical driver for growth. Number three, the difference that makes the difference. Confused customers rarely buy. If a potential customer does not have a clear understanding of what you can do for them that is meaningful or important and is not available elsewhere, they are unlikely to make the switch. Here is the key. The only way you can describe the difference between you and everybody else who wants their business is to have a granular understanding of what your competitors do and how what you do is meaningfully different. You must be able to tell a customer, this is what we do, here is why this is important and unique, other vendors do not do this, they do that. If you want that, you should buy from them. If you want this, you should buy from us. The ominously titled chapter, The Triangle of Death, underscores the risk of failing to communicate this message. You might also take a look at simplifying growth for additional thoughts on this subject. Number four, success proposition. Here it is on a bumper sticker. Value created but not delivered is of no value. Value delivered but not perceived is of no value. In other words, it does no good to wink at a pretty girl with the lights out. You're the only one who knows what you did. If you want to get noticed, turn the lights on. Most of us have heard the marketing experts refer to a value proposition or USP, unique selling proposition. And we've learned that the key to growth and success is adding more value than the other guy. A far more powerful way to think about value propositions and USPs is to reframe them as a success proposition. We need to clearly communicate to potential customers that our product or service or experience, the what and how, will meet their definition of success. The strategic growth chapter offers insights on how to achieve this in your business. This also applies to customers who fire us and start buying from the competition. They've been disappointed one too many times by our inability to consistently meet their expectations of success. If we can understand how our current customers and the target customers define success, we will drive more repeat business and win new customers. The growth you want will never be achieved by a slogan of great customer service. They want success. So figure out what that looks like and give it to them. In the chapter, Oh Baby, I describe this concept in greater detail to help you focus on this key issue. People say no for a reason. Figuring out that reason is a major key to growing the top line. You and your sales team need to continually ask the questions, why were we not a fit? And why was someone else a better fit? Here's a hint. Honing your conversion technique or initiating a social media and SEO strategy is not the same as clarity about what customers, current and potential, want, what they are afraid of, how they define success, how we message the difference that makes the difference, and what solution must be designed, promised, and delivered to exceed their expectations and meet their definition of success? As Peter Drucker insightfully suggested, the customer rarely buys what the business thinks it is selling. Here it is on a bumper sticker. Few growth strategies are more powerful than giving the customer certainty of success. Thinking time. General. Why aren't my...